No! Hello there, it's your boy Jess of the Laser coming back with a new video. Now I have a question that's been on my mind. Who out there has the best cheeseburger? Which restaurant is giving out the best cheeseburgers? Now I recently tweeted out, I said, who has the best burger in town? Now the main replies were, in and out and five guys. There were also others like what a burger. I live in California, I've never been to one, so I don't know where that is. So I created a score sheet where we're gonna go to all the different restaurants and rate each burger to find out who has the best burger. If you think it's in and out, leave a like. If you think it's five guys, subscribe. Where are the boys? <laughs> Come get some burgers. But we what are you doing? Get in the car. Jesus. Get in the, get in the car. Okay, okay, okay. You get a scorecard. Nice. What? Scorecard for you. Okay. Scorecard for you. Scorecard for you. Today we will be rating our burgers out of a score of 20. This sheet is a little messed up. It's out of 30. First of all, presentation, one to five points. Very important. It has to look good. It has to look appealing. Is the meat good? The juiciness, one to five. The buns. Buns are very underrated. They're slept on. They're low key. Very important for a good burger. Then we have the toppings. You know, how crazy do they get with their toppings? Because I like some toppings, like some bacon, fried egg even. Out of 10, we're getting the taste. Mm. Probably the most important part. It's worth the most amount of points. And with that, we will figure out who has the best burger. Now today, we are going to be going to Donald's, In-N-Out, Shake Shack, Five Guys, Carl's Jr., Habit, Wendy's. By early prediction, Shake Shack. All of these guys are obsessed with Shake Shack. I am not a Shake Shack fan. That is always a soggy burger. I'm picking five guys. Mopi, what do you? What's your early prediction? Hey, I want him to get off me because he just said Shake Shack is a soggy burger. Five Guys is amazing, so Thanks. I think Five Guys. I love In-N-Out. I miss In-N-Out. I kind of want In-N-Out right now more than Shake Shack, but I think Shake Shack will win. First stop, In-N-Out Burger, a classic. The burgers are here now. Value or price isn't an option, but the value for In-N-Out is extremely good. Now presentation. Honestly, In-N-Out is like iconic to me. It's Pretty classic. Beautiful. It looks amazing, right? Yeah. But then once you pull it out, you realize it's all on one side. It's kind of side loaded, oh, right? Oh, that is. I didn't but that. But that perfect picture, beginning. I give it a four. Honestly, like I'm gonna give it a three because I don't know why my burger looks like a triangle. Straight off Presentation, the I'll give it a four. I'm going three. It, it just shouldn't look like that. What do you got, Tyler? Three. No two. Face test, first mm -hmm. first thoughts. I sh** on In-N-Out a lot. That was pretty good. They're still better out there, but. Yum, scrumptious, delicious. What you thinking, man? In-N-Out tastes really great. It's just whether it's the best. It's delicious. I enjoy this a lot. I'm gonna finish this. All right, my score presentation three. Meat is actually pretty solid. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a four. Buns, they, they actually toasted them. They were a little so crispy. Fun. I liked it, so I gave it out a four. Toppings, I was about to give it two, because they're so limited, they don't have many toppings, but toppings were really good. I love the onions here, so I gave it a three. Taste, ended it with an eight. Total score, 22. I gave In-N-Out a week 16. Todd, what was your total score? I gave it a 21, mostly because I think the, the buns are buns. I gave it a powerful 25. I also gave it a 25. Wendy's. I haven't been here in years. All I know is they have a fire Twitter account. I have a lot of bad experiences with Wendy's. A lot of bad experiences? This Wendy's? No, but the one <laughs> in my college student center destroyed me. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie. This is looking kind of juicy so far. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. This has to be your favorite place, correct? Literally every burger here has bacon with it. Do you not see that? You can't get a burger without bacon here. <laughs> Wait, is that true? Look. This is my home. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have an option, but the sus meter is out of five. The burgers came out by the time we found our table. So that's a little concerning to me. I'm scared. <laughs> um, presentation. So you gotta unwrap it. So we're it's unwrapping like, it it's close. It's a Christmas present. Oh, the cheese doesn't even look cooked. It's definitely not. It's cracked. The cheese it's is cracked. cracked. The burgers One. are square. What do you think about yeah, that? that? Are you lowered, that lowered? The you grade. don't like the square. Squares aren't a natural shape. <laughs> Squareness is not the problem here. What is it's, the problem? <laughs> it's almost everything else. It's everything. It's All right, taste test. What's everyone thinking? Bro, I'm shaking. I'm kind of nervous. Right, Why are you bite. nervous? <laughs> first bite. All right, let me get first bite for James. First bite. Mitchell, first bite. First reactions, boys. It has bacon on it. It's good. <laughs> oh, you like it? It's, it's better than you'd think after that horrible presentation. Honestly, pretty good. The bacon's good. Buns are not good. I don't like the buns at all, but I actually kind of like the taste. When I said I like the taste, 
I didn't like it that much. Total score, hit me. 17. Total score? 14. 14? 16. 16? 13. 13. I gave it a 14.5. The thing is, the burger I got, I liked, but when I bit Tyler's burger, it was, I didn't like it. So I had to lower my score. This is all that remains. We're pulling up, pulling up to Shake Shack right now. Me and James, when we used to go to the East Coast to visit family, there was a Shake Shack in New York City at the park, and we would literally wait an hour. The line would always be yeah. like an hour long to get it, but now there's a lot more Shake Shacks everywhere. I was waiting an hour for this when I was younger, so. It was always worth it, too. It's always worth it. It was always worth it. The convenience. You order off a touchpad. Now, I do have to say, Shake Shack is probably the most expensive one on the list, so for that reason, it should be the best. It's worth it. All right, burgers are here. Give me the presentation, boys. Bro, not appetizing. That not appetizing? This, this like a, one is. This looks like a jellyfish. A jellyfish? I'm gonna take it out. If the bun is soggy, it's already soggy. It's not soggy. Bro, it's not, not soggy. soggy. What do you this. mean? I got soggy. That's just oil. Every bun is like that. I told them they wouldn't like my critiques <laughs> on because these burgers. Because that's, dude, that's how in and outs was. No, it was not. Yes, it, it was. It's it's not not even it is lower. lower. All right, I'm taking my bite. All right, take your bite, boy. I got the roadside double. You like it? Fire? Mitchell is just inspecting it, bro. Sure, I'll try with peppers. What do you think, Mitchell? Great. Profoundly good. Okay. Amazing. Bet. Why do you guys like this so much? You don't like it? I mean, it's like... Dude, what separates Shake Shack is how juicy the patties are. I mean, it's like a good burger. It's overhyped, you think? So overhyped. My, you don't like it, Tyler? My experience is ruined from the peppers <laughs> and the spread. That's like a two all across the board. <laughs> what? I'm trying the onion one. I actually like onions, so. Mm. This one, I'm, I'm honestly a little disappointed. This one is godly, though. These peppers, like, elevate this burger. Dude. Tyler thinks the exact opposite. So good. The only things that were lacking for me were the presentation and the buns. The buns were kind of disappointing. Other than that, great scores. Total score, gave it a 25. I'm gonna have to give that one a 27. Probably my favorite fast food burger. Did not prove me wrong. I gave it a 17. You know, the meat, I gave a four. That's what saved it because it is the healthiest <laughs> I gave it a 25. I only gave it a 17, but I got a burger that I didn't like, so that's kind of biased. The Golden Arches! Every kid loves McDonald's. Mitchell, you got games on your phone? I got games. They got games at McDonald's. This is honestly a plus to the presentation right now. Alright, the food is here. Let's take a look at the presentation now. I'm personally a fan of the box. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Where's the cheese? There is three buns in this thing. Did you know that, James? Yeah. Three buns, so the buns better be good. The meat, a little scary. All right, Tyler, first of all, what did you order? You always get your own burger. What is meat, that? Meat and cheese. What is that? Any ketchup or anything? How did he get on his burgers? Nothing, <laughs> that's the thing. Zero <laughs> topping score. It's just a cheese, it's just meat, cheese, and bun. It tastes like it is what it is. All right, James, Big. is this your first Big Mac? Uh, in at least 15 years. <laughs> I've never had a Big Mac before, Cheers. so I'm a little scared. I've never had a Big Mac. First Big I've never had a Big Mac. No, oh no, no. Negative, negative emotions. No. <laughs> Todd kind of likes it on the low. It tastes fine. fine. It doesn't have like too much flavor other than the Somebody mayonnaise like that's thrown on the it. The mayonnaise and the pickle is like all of the flavor in that thing. James, only one bite? Do you like your little sandwich? I'm not even gonna call it a burger. No. You didn't like it's it? It's too plain. <laughs> but I mean, too it's my, plain. You it's my own it fault. Like... I don't like anything. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry if anybody's getting frustrated. I've seen you eat so much McDonald's over the years. Are you a I fan? I used to be a Big Mac boy. I haven't eaten here in so long. They definitely switched some stuff up. Not the biggest fan. And look how scary that looks. You get a strong pickle. A lot of pickle in there. Yeah. I literally got a giant pickle. The buns are weak. The meat is weak. It is probably one of the cheaper ones, though. So, you gotta consider that. Total? 7. 12. 15. 13. And I gave it an 11. I don't know why I've been, like, so nice. Taste, I'm lowering it to a 2. <laughs> We're gonna make this an 8. 
right, here we are at the habit. Honestly, this used to be a go-to of mine. All right, presentation. That looks tasty. That one? That looks tasty. They look good to me. Oh my god, why? Never mind. Presentation. Honestly, the best out of all of them. That's a five. For my punishment of smashing this Big burger, boy I'd never do this. Like, this stuff in here is ridiculous. Yes, well, I'm not exaggerating. Well, that is, that's the barbecue I might, bacon I might one. Throw I love up. barbecue bacon. Lettuce is not going to make you throw up, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Have it's good, bro. Nice. Nice. I'm going to try the teriyaki one. No? Actually, no? Do you like yours? I like it. Do you like it, Todd? Yeah, I saw you took a bite. First it's solid. solid. It's certainly solid. Solid burger. It's kind of juicy looking. I got the teriyaki. Mm. Okay, I did get the teriyaki. It was overwhelmingly teriyaki. The meat? It's good. I'm gonna give it a four. 21. 23. 22. 22. 22. Wow, we all have one. Yeah, one point of 22. Heck? Hey, it was good. It was it's solid. Good. This is definitely Habits one of the higher tier ones. Good. Yeah, this is one of the higher tier ones. Habits a go to. We are out, Mr. Carlos Jr. Fun fact, one time my mom left me here abandoned when I was a young boy. I have attachment to this Carlos Jr. But we're going through the drive-thru for this one. We'll get the double western bacon cheeseburger. I'll get the famous star. And a side of penis, please. Stop. I want my five guys nuts. Okay, no. also Tyler <laughs> earlier today said, I want to suck on some salty peanuts. You know, <laughs> say it again on camera. I want to suck some salty peanuts. He also Dude. said, mmm, I want that meat in my mouth. That five guys meat. <laughs> that one was a lie. Bag is secured. Now, we gotta be nice on the presentation because this one isn't in store. Dig in, boys. It's cold? It's feeling like so. Don't tell me you it's a cold bro. burger. Can I spit it out? You're spitting it out. I have to spit it out. Yeah, you can spit it out. That's disgusting. Bro, you know it's bad when even Mopey's grossed out by No, it. I didn't see it. I covered my eyes. I'll take a Squidward bite. <laughs> no, you have to take a whole bite. <laughs> no, I want a Squidward bite. Hey, guys, I don't want to hold it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> what is it? Bro, it can't be that bad. No. Oh, hold it. No! <laughs> so, what do you guys think? I hate this. <laughs> Bro, I feel like I always liked Carl Jr. Now Bro, I'm so like, what happened? I. I'm actually shocked right now. That wasn't what I expected. Okay, the smell test, it, it passed. Ooh. It's just not good. <laughs> Bro, I'm disappointed. I used to love Carl Jr. What happened? Bro, the girl chemically farted. Cool. Todd. Oh my god! Oh my god! No! The buns are this weird, soggy Play Doh. And then the meat. It tastes like the McDonald's one. Ugh. Mopey is the only one who didn't try it. Let's see what it is. We need a big boy bite. No Squidward team. <laughs> and you're gonna spit it out. Oh, oh my god, he's going! <laughs> he's he's going for it! He low-key likes it! Oh. You liked oh it, God. Tyler? I almost threw up. <laughs> Donald's was gross, but that was like, I want to throw up that. Do it. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to finish it. <laughs> throw it away. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my God. Here we are at Five Guys. I don't see anyone here. I don't know about the presentation because look, we're eating in here and they still gave us a bag instead of like a platter. Presentation is a one, but Five Guys isn't about the presentation. That's yeah. the thing. First thoughts, first thoughts. Like it? Solid? Solid, James? You want a solid? Solid top? All right, let me get mine. Borderline majestic. All right, final score. 22. 21. 22. 25. Mine was a 23. So we're gonna go in the car and tell you the final results. Now we put together all our scores to make an averages, and this is what the group decided together based off of our scores. The absolute worst, undoubtedly, almost made all of us vomit at the same time. <laughs> was Carl's Jr. with an average of the lowest score possible, <laughs> five. Number two, McDonald's. 
Hey. Yeah. Yeah. What was its average? 11. Above McDonald's barely is Wendy's with a 14.5. <laughs> Hide for a third and fourth place Oy. is in and out and habit. Oh. First and okay. second place with a difference of 0 0.1. Oh, oh my god! How is that Possible. It is. is this Five Guys the Shake Shack. Five Guys got 22.6 and Shake Shack got 22.5. Let us know in the comments who you think has the best burger. If you're not already subscribed, yo, what are you doing? Subscribe to the channel right now. Check out two other videos popping up right now. Everyone's channels, their links are in the description. Let us know if you want to do another food. Tweet me if you want me to do tacos or something like that. I'll see you guys later.